Welcome back. Still moseying along here. Oh god, is this almost over? I feel like I've been itching along forever. Not exactly sure why they included this in here. Oh, is that a finish line? Please let it be the end. Oh, thank you. <sighs> okay. I was, um, asked about how I edit the videos and a very good example of that is how um, now that I think about it the uh, previous video where I edited out the 15 minutes that it took for me to uh, solve the video or solve the puzzle I put myself in the position of the viewer. What would I want to see? Would I want to see someone click away for 15 minutes trying to solve something? Or if I were a viewer that wanted to know how to solve the puzzle, would I really care about all of those clicks? You know, and for me, I would prefer to just cut that out because I use fraps. And fraps breaks up it's not one continuous gaming session so they break them up in like four gigabyte files so I have to use an editor to put the pieces together anyway okay so I prefer to take the time to edit that stuff out and there goes my phone again wow okay it's gonna be one of these nights <laughs> all right I will be right back Welcome back. Okay. Alright, so yeah, Fraps uh, makes these four gigabyte files, and I have to put them together anyway. So, since I have to put them together, I feel that I want to have, and I'm still working towards this, uh, you know, a really good product for the viewer to look at. So, I don't mind going in editing and taking out stuff that I don't think is absolutely necessary, like me taking 15 minutes to solve the puzzle. In the end, what's the most important thing? The end. How, the, the, how it looks. <clears throat> so, another thing that I'm thinking about is loading screens. <laughs> If I was a user, I would not want to be sitting, especially on the internet. Uh, okay. I'm go I'll be right back when I finish this, because this is not going to, to be... I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I'm almost done here. So, you can sort of see... You see that green and the orange? I have to get that green in the orange out and I will be done. And then to get the orange. No. Yeah. Okay. So I have to get that green. See, I, I, I can't even describe that. Just watch. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Now, I was talking about loading screens. The DA2 playthrough, one of the things that bothers me a lot is how much time was wasted sitting there at the loading screen. And it bothered me playing it, so I can only imagine how, as a user, a viewer, Oh, it's annoying sitting there looking at that loading screen all that time. So I 
weighed it and I think I'm going to start cutting out loading screens you know really long loading screens you know in my gameplays because I just think that's minutes and, and when you add up those minutes that's a lot of time to waste you know what I'm saying oh okay um Hmm. I'm sort of debating on whether I should cut how I solve this, but this is a different type of puzzle because you want to know which pieces go where. So yeah, I'm probably going to keep this in. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Um, I'm looking at the shading, and the shading is just like off on all of these. Eh, there we go. It's sad that there's not a lot more electronic, or not electronic, digital, yeah, that's not going to work over there. Uh, digital um, jigsaw puzzle games. I would love like a 2,000 piece jigsaw puzzle game. Actually, what would be nice is if you could make, you know, like wallpapers or images that you have into puzzles. There's got to be something like that. I know there is. Just have to find it. And it just randomly make puzzle pieces. Ooh, this is a little challenging one. There we go. Should probably focus on the one that's got a little color to it. But honestly, I love fiddling with the, uh, you know, like the blues. I'm thinking about uh, the next puzzle game being the uh, next big thing. It seems cute. I saw it over on Steam. I did the demo. It's got a little humor to it. You have to solve a mystery or something like that. So yeah, it looks it looks cute. One thing that I don't want to do is um, do what I've noticed um, a lot of, not uh, I won't say a lot of Let's Players do, but many, they get um, excited about a game and then new games come out and then they never go back and finish and then you hear this uh, announcement, I'm going to be discontinuing because, you know, X game because I've lost enthusiasm with the game. So I don't want to have too many uh, games going on at once. And I don't want to start a game that I'm not going to finish. So, I mean, there will be some like uh, Dragon Age Origins where it's an older game. It's a big game. And I've already completed the... Uh, the, the the newest one I did Dragon Age 2 <clears throat> so I will be playing it but I'll be playing other games with it because otherwise I'll get burnt out on it on, on Dragon Age so um, you know I play just a little bit every day and then play some other games to balance it off oh, I'm cooking now look at me So you know, I decided to do Teeny Bang Story because it's a short little game. And I don't think uh, the um, the next big thing is a big game either. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't played it, but I don't think so. Fable seems to be a pretty good size. So... Um, I think that's a good balance to have like two big games and then some small ones that you can finish rather quickly. 
I mean, Teeny Bang's story is like four or five hours tops. Well, depending on how well you solve puzzles, that is. So yeah, I'm thinking about, you know, what I do when I'm recording. Um, you know, how do I, how would a, as a viewer, what would I want? Or what would I be looking for? Because it would suck to get sucked up in, particularly with, you know, the stories like Dragon Age or Fable where there's an active storyline going on. And my phone. <laughs> be right back. Okay, welcome back. <sighs> okay, so if there's an active storyline going on, you want, I, I can imagine as a viewer, in, through my own uh, Let's Play watching experiences, where, oh no, uh, you don't know how much I hate these puzzles, type of puzzles. I don't hate them, it just usually takes me a second to, to get this. So, um, as a, a Let's Play viewer myself, um, even if I know how the story ends in a game, you sort of, it, it, if you like the Let's Player, you want to know how their game ends. Because, you know, in games like Dragon Age, or even like The Witcher 2, you can make different decisions, and those decisions will, oh god, will change, you know, depending on how the person plays the game. So you want to see their ending. So I'm trying to be responsible and make sure that I don't start something that I'm not going to finish. And that's, you know, something that I think that everybody should try to do in the things that they do. I'm very good at doing that with house projects. I have been meaning to finish. My bedroom takes up the whole front of the house. And I've started painting it like six different times. Well, maybe not six. Um, I can look at the walls. There's one, two, three different shades of blue. <laughs> so at least three times I started and didn't finish. And one of the things I want to do this summer is actually finish painting this room. Just so that I actually start, finish the project that I start. Yeah. Okay. I can tell you right now. I'm going to cut this. And... <laughs> we'll see you when I figure this out. 